happy men. But happy Mother's Day to everyone. This is a beautiful, happy Mother's Day, even though we're not in church, but it's all about God Almighty. That's what it is. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall be glad and rejoice in it. Happy Mother's Day. What a wonderful day it is. Just to be alive. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I have a special program lined up for this morning. I have my son, first of all, he's going to bring and, and render us a beautiful song this morning. And also at the end of the sermon, I asked him to come with another selection for us. And this is just a, a still a beautiful Mother's Day. We dedicate th th this whole day to God for allowing mothers the authority to lead and guide their families. It's a beautiful Mother's Day. Yes, indeed. I also have my daughters to come, come with a, a nice little poem or just to say, Happy Mother's Day. Okay, we'll get started. Amen. First giving unto God who's the head of my life. He's giving me the opportunity to, to stand before you this morning, telling you, thank, tell him thank you, first of all. And just t thank you to allowing me to come again, render a, a, a message in his behalf. And I also want to give honor to my pastor. And, uh, uh, pastor. And I also want to give honor to the first lady of this church. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, 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 First Lady Eileen Hawkins, and also to the mothers of the church, and to the deacons of the church, and to the members of the church, and to Facebook friends out there. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. I, I, I have this morning um, my son come with a selection, and then we're going to get into the word of God. Minister Joy Laird. I also like to honor my, my son too this morning, uh, Joe and Minister Joy Laird. And also my daughter, she has made it in. And to my daughter, being here with me this morning on this beautiful Mother's Day. All right. Now we will have Minister Joy Laird come with a selection for us. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, it, it is a great honor for me to be here today uh, to share a song of worship with you. So if you can, just, just get yourselves in a state of worship at this moment. Yes, we're honoring the mothers, but it is God who, who gives the mothers that strength. It is God who created the mothers. So I thank God for my mother, uh, and happy Mother's Day to you. Uh, I love you, um, and I just thank God for you. And so be encouraged on today as you receive this word from the Lord. If you can, just begin to just lift up your hands and worship the Lord with me, wherever you may be. And just begin to give God praise. Because he's worthy, he's worthy of your praise. Oh, yes he is. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. I will bless your name. 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 Bless the Lord. My soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Thank you, Lord, and all, and all that is within. And we say, Bless the Lord, He's worthy of your praise. 
name. Lift up your voices and say, I'll bless your name, Jesus. I will bless your name. Yes, I will. I bless your name. The song says, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. 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 Can somebody just give God a wave off it? Come on. He's worthy, he's worthy. Bless the Lord, oh, 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 my soul. He's worthy. Come on, somebody. Say, I will bless your name, Jesus. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy of your praise. I bless the Lord. Listen, He's holy, He's mighty, He's righteous, worthy. Say bless the Lord. Said, Oh my soul. Now this is the time for you to just give some worship. Why don't you type up Hallelujah or type up Thank you, Jesus? Oh, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. We bless you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Take it up, say, oh. Come on. I will bless the Lord. Oh. I bless the Lord. Oh. You're so worthy. Bless your name. Listen, said he's holy. Oh, bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Listen, he's holy. He's mighty. He's righteous. I know God is worthy. Said, bless the Lord. Said, oh, my soul. Oh, listen. He's holy. And he's mighty. He's righteous. Worthy. Bless the Lord. Said, oh, my soul. Now, somebody begin to just give God glory. He's worthy. Come on, give God a praise if you can. Amen, amen. What a beautiful selection. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. He's holy, he's mighty, he's worthy. He's righteous. Hallelujah, glory to your wonderful, matchless name. I just want to say a quick prayer before I get into the word of God this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just want to come to you as humbly as I know how, telling you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this day, because this is the day that you have made, and we shall be glad and, and rejoice in it. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this Mother's Day, Lord. Reverence our mother, thanking our mother for leading and, and, and guiding us the way God has Desire her to be. Lord, we just ask you for our forgiveness, Lord, this morning, Lord. And Lord, we just ask you to, to direct us in the right path, Lord, this morning, Lord. Lord, I'm, I'm asking you to let me decrease and let you increase in the word of God, Lord. Let you take over this vessel, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your word be for reproof. Let your word be for correction. Let your word be for direction. He that had ears, let them hear what well, thus said the Lord. And, and Lord, we just thank you, Lord, reverencing your holy name this morning. It's all about you, Lord, not about us, Lord. It's not about the mothers, but it's about you, Lord. This morning, let your word go forth. Hallelujah. Glory to your wonderful name. 
Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And we give you all the praises from the fruit of our lips, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Let it be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning, we're talking about women. We're talking about wives. And we're talking about mothers this morning. And I'm coming from Proverbs, the 31. We're talking about the Proverbs 31 woman this morning. But I'm going to come with a, something a little bit different. But the scriptures is going to be coming from Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. And what an impact women have, women, wives, and mothers have on our lives. Mother gave us birth. They fed us. They pampered us. They punish us. They clean us up. They care for us. They share, shed tears of joy for us. They shed tears of sorrow for us. They put up with us. They bragged on us. And they, they, they defended us. Women, wives, and mother has many jobs for, to take care of their families. There are nurses, there are cleaning services, there are referees, there are personnel assistants, there are teachers, there are meal planners, there are chauffeurs, there are birthday planners, there are life coach, there are personal stylists, there are entrepreneurs, there are investigators, and there are many more jobs that the women and the mothers, the, the uh, woman has worn many of hats this morning. We say our mother knows best. We say when we're four years old, our mothers can do anything. We say when we turn 12 years old, my, my mom doesn't know everything. We say when we turn 14 years old, we say my mom doesn't know anything. When we turn 18 years old, we say mom is out of touch with this time. When we turn 25 years old, we say Mom knows a few things. When we turn 45 years old, we say, I wonder what mom says about this. When we turn 65 years old, we say, I wish my mom was here today. I really miss her. Happy Mother's Day. Today, let me give you a little background about Proverbs about the Proverbs 31 woman. It wasn't intended be to be about a woman. It was intended about, it was, it was about a mother telling her son how to choose his wife. He was a king and she was his mother. Now, some said that the mother was Bathsheba. Some said that the king was Solomon. But we don't know that for sure that that, that who's they were talking about. But it was a mother utterance that was inspired by God. The characteristic of a woman, a wife for her king, for her son, and gave those direction for him to, to, uh, to be guided by, to look for in a wife. But today we're going to talk about a woman of valor. A woman of valor. Who can find a virtuous woman? For the price is far above rubies. We're talking about a woman of valor. And a woman of valor, when I looked it up, it means great courage. It means a, a woman of strength. It means a woman of moral worth. It means a woman of wisdom. It means a woman who honors God. It means a woman who is worthy of God's grace. It means a woman that loves others. It means a woman that is good to others. It, is a, it means a woman that, that, that prays for others. That she wake up early in the morning, put on her whole armor of God, and start her day with God. She has a relationship with God. She walks with confidence, not in jealousy. She speaks with wisdom and clings to the word of God. She doesn't gospel or chase after the world. She is a woman of valor. 
the kind of woman who makes a difference in this world. A woman of valor. She is trustworthy. Her heart is. Her heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Her husband is inspired by her to trust in her wholeheartedly. She knows, he knows what's, that she has his best interest and his family best interest. He knows that, that she is not jealousy, but trusts in him. For he knows she will manage money wisely. For he knows she will take care of her family. For he knows that they that each of them, that, that each of them trusts in them. They give their heart to each other and they tell their secrets to each other. So he trusts in her to do him good, not evil. She trusts in him that she will be there during the hard times and even be there during the, in, the disappointment times. He knows that she practiced self-control with her words and with her speech and, and the way she carried herself. She knows that she, she doesn't tear them down, but she, she builds them up with her words. He knows that the marriage means more to them than being right, than proving a point, than even venting to their friends about their shortcomings. He knows that he has complete confidence in her. He knows that he can trust in, his, in her. The woman of valor. Do you give him every reason to trust in you? A woman of valor who can be trusted by her husband. She's a woman of valor. She can be lead by example. She's seeking wool and flexing, working willingly with her hands. This is saying that she knows to take care of her family, their needs, their teachings, their training, their clothing, their well-being through the, the word of God. She knows to let God lead and guide her and become that courageous, that strong and woman of wisdom and honor. By getting in the word of God, by getting into God, she knows that, that she got to be led by the Holy Spirit to teach her children the word of God. Teach them how to pray and teach them how to worship God in spirit and in truth. And But she just not, doesn't do that at church. She does it at home. She practices and she lives it with her family. Building her family, leading her family to righteousness. Leading them to the truth. And the truth is Jesus Christ by living by example and setting that, that example for her family. Her purpose of God is to live a life of godliness, teach her family about Jesus, and know that God is a, has a plan for their lives. She knows to pray for her family through the good times, the bad times, and even the ugly times. She knows to put her trust in God over her family, over her husband. Put her trust in God over her children's lives. She knows to pray for others and they, they, her church. And, and, and she has a mind. She, she loves God with her mind, body, soul, and all of her heart. She is not selfish. She loves her neighbors as thyself. She is trusting in God to lead her family in righteousness with the blood of Jesus. And she does this daily. She does this daily. She leads by example daily. A woman of valor. She is resourceful. She is like the ships of the merchants. She brings her food from afar. She knows how to be resourceful for her, for her household and family. She goes beyond her neighborhood to find best bargains and, and the quality for her family, her home, and like food and clothing and shoes and furniture, everything that makes up a godly and righteous home. Becoming a woman of valor, you, she knows how to be resourceful. She rises also while it is yet night and giving meat to her household and portion to her maidens. She knows to rise up early in the morning. Put on the whole armor of God and have a quiet talk with Jesus. 
and she spent time in the word of God. She had a devotional period with God, with just her and with God, praising, and worshiping God, covering her family, covering her family, and asking Lord for strength to be their help me towards her husband and to, and to pray over their finances, their jobs, their health, their family and friends and loved ones, church. She, she's a praying woman. She, she covering her family. She's making sure that her family is prepared in the morning. A woman that rises up early in the morning, putting on the whole armor of God. A woman that knows how to get up early and cover her family and, and also make sure they are taken care of every morning. She does this every morning. She practices, she lives this every Every morning, she considered her feeling bad with the fruit of her hands. She planted a vineyard. The, she girded her lawns with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceiving that her merchandise is good. Her candle going not out by night. She lay her hands to spend, spend them and her household to this staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She knows how to be practical with money for her family. She knows to pray about any kind of business venture or, uh, and to be guided by the Holy Spirit concerning her family, concerning her husband. She knows that they are, that she has to make every decision through the word of God, lifting up her family, lifting up everything. She knows how to prosper her family. She knows how to prosper her family and not lead her family into debt. She prepares a service both physically and spiritually. A woman of values clothes herself with, with God's strength, with Christ's strength daily with the word of God. She takes responsibility and put herself and clothe herself, put by putting on the whole armor of God, girding up her lawns, walking and living in the righteousness with her dealings. She is not lazy or selfish. She cares for others with for the needy and the poor. She always giving back. She has a giving heart. She is not afraid of the snow for her, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She is a woman who fears God. She knows that taking care of her family and husband, that she knows it's not about her. She knows that it's about God's purpose and plan for her life. She knows that given that she was given the authority to teach and train and guide her family through to the truth, and the truth is Jesus Christ. Walking in the truth of Jesus Christ for their lives. Giving them back to God so they can walk in the truth. So they can give their lives to the purpose and plan that Jesus has for their lives. Hallelujah. She's a hardworking woman through her family. She see the fruit of her labor. Hallelujah. She making her covering and, and tapestry, her clothing silk and purple. She knows to represent herself as a woman of God through her actions, through her speech, through what through her speech and her words. She whether she is at home, whether she is, is, is at church, whether it's everywhere that she goes, she is a woman of God. She dresses the part. She 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 is fearfully and wonderfully made. God says in his word. I am a holy God, so therefore you have represent yourself as holy and godly women. She is about God's business. She dresses herself and clothes herself with holiness in her actions, in her speech, and in her words. Hallelujah. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. When your, your husband is among the elders, sometimes a husband might be of high stature in the community. She knows that her living reflects who her husband is. If she's a gossiper, if she's talking about people, or, or she's just a massive woman, that is a reflection of her husband. 
You are a reflection of your husband. You, you, that's why he said a godly husband should be with a godly woman. Oil and water does not mix. It will lead into destruction of their home. She's under the who, he, who she is and to be carried out herself that she got to walk in and walk with God every day. Walk with God with her speech. She got to make sure that she's a godly woman. She got to make sure that she chooses her people. She got to make sure that she chooses the right places to go in. She got to make sure she, she chooses the right things to do to be that godly woman. To lead her family into righteousness. To lead her family into truth by practicing living the word of God. Being unity with her husband. Being one flesh with her husband. At all times, whether she's with him or whether she's without him. Living a godly life. A woman of valor knows how to be one with her husband and with her family. Setting the example at all times. He make it find them and sell it. She make it find them and sell it and deliver the girls unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She is a diligent worker. Working is an act of worship to God. Our jobs is our mission. We work to promote the gospel. Your ministry starts with your family. Titus 2, 3, and 5 tells us older women like wives are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderer or slaves to much wines. They are to teach what is good and so train the young women to love their, their husband and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. She knows to be a wise woman in, in her behavior. She knows to, to teach and train her, her, her family to what is good and pleasing to the Lord. She knows to, to love her husband and children. She knows to practice self-control. She knows to be the kindest of submissive woman to her own husband. This is a command from God, from God Almighty. She knows how to praise and, and give God thanks and does this daily. She is a woman of valor. A woman of valor. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue in the law of kindness. Hallelujah. Our tongue, ladies. Our tongue, wives. Our tongue, mother. It can cause an abundance of good or a world of destruction. Words are powerful. It can build you up or it can tear you down. Sometimes it's not what we say. It's how we say it. it she knows how to practice self-control with her words. James 3 and 10 tells us, From the same mouth come blessings and cursing. My brothers, these things are not to be so. If, if, Ephesians 4 and 29 tells us, don't let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building up others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Your words, you can either build them up or you can either tear them down. A woman of valor knows how to build up her family. A woman of valor knows how to build up her children. The woman of valor knows to have self-control of her, over her words. Hallelujah. You've been led by the Holy Spirit, putting on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. She looked away unto the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. She knows to be rooted up in the word of God. Romans 12 and 2 tells us, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and is simple and perfect to God Almighty. She's practicing it every day to be rooted up in the word of God, knowing what, what is, is acceptable to God and perfect to God with her children, with practicing and teaching them with her, with her husband, even with the world who she, she comes in contact with. 
She is rooted up in the word of God, practicing it daily. A woman of valor. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fear the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. You have shown your family, your husband and your family, what a woman of valor looks like. With your godly living and allowing God to direct your path. Your children believe mother can do anything. The children believe and knows mama can know everything. And there is nothing that she won't do for her family. Her husband knows to honor and praise her and appreciate for her hard works that she does. And her, her prayers that she sent out for her family. And her godliness living it. In the truth of God, each and every day, taking care of her family every day. Above all else, she fears the Lord. Everything she does is out of pure love and respect for God Almighty. She knows that earthly praises is, is, is only temporary. She knows that her beauty and, and fame, it fades away. But eternal with the Lord Jesus Christ, it lasts forever. It's eternity. Colossians 3 and 2 tells us, set your minds on the things above, not on the things on earth. Her living in action for God speaks for itself. She's a godly woman, a woman of valor. She doesn't seek out, out praises to do good and deeds to see people so people can see her. Her motives are pure. She knows her rewards are in heaven. A woman of valor is an encouraging, a picture of a woman who does her best to put God first in everything she does. Not as her will, but as God's will. To hear her master tell her, well done, faithful servant, well done. Hallelujah, woman of valor. God has a plan for your lives. Some stuff has to be straightened up in your life. A change has to come in your life. Everything wrong in your life has to be made straight in your life. If you're a mother that has been on crack cocaine, you it stops today. If you're a woman that's been an alcoholic, it stops today. A woman that has been in an abusive relationship, it stops today. Healing starts today. Restoration starts today. We lift up women today. We lift up wives today. We lift up mothers today. We all are a gift from God who... To become the woman, the wife, the mother that God has created us to be. Can you handle it? Yes, you can handle it. Yes, you can lead your family. Yes, you can be that courageous woman of God. Yes, you can be that godly woman leading by example for her family. Yes, you can handle it. You can be that woman of valor today. Hallelujah. Yes, you can handle it. You can be that woman that puts on the whole armor of God, wakes up in the early in the wee hours of the morning, praying for her family, covering her family in the name of Jesus, looking after her family. And she knows to give back her family to God so they can walk into the truth and to their purpose for God. God has a plan for you women today. Why well, God say yes. You can change. Yes, you can start today. It's never too late to be that woman of valor. It's never too late to be that authority in your family that is led by God and leading your family through righteousness. Leading your family to the truth, and that's Jesus Christ. A woman of valor. Courageous woman. A woman of worth. Far precious than rubies. You a gem. You're a gem to all. You are worthy to be praised. But God is worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Because he put you in authority. He designed you to lead your family. It's not too late. You're not too old to do this. It's never too late. You're not too young to be the woman of valor. Just start today. Hallelujah. Walking in the truth. Living in the truth. Guarding the truth. 
in the name of Jesus, with your prayers, with your living, your actions, your words. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, I'm just going to say a, a quick prayer. Praying on the mothers. Hallelujah. Praying on the mothers this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you telling you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this message this morning, Lord. Thank you, Lord, the ones that did hear, Lord, is the messages for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The messages for mothers. You are designed to be, to lead your family, Lord. Lead your family in the truth. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give them the strength to do what you have created them to do, Lord. Give them the power to, to help them to, to control, to practice self-control of, of their mouth, of their actions, the places they go, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The things that they do in the name of Jesus, that they, they know they are a godly woman, and it is not too late to start being a godly woman. Just let them know that they, they have to trust in God with all their life. They ain't not, let them know that, that it's not a about them, that it's about Jesus. It's about them leading it, the whole, their, their family into the truth, walking in the truth of God, leading them to their purpose, to their plan that God has for them. Hallelujah. Being that wife of God, being that help me of God. In the name of Jesus, with God directing their path every step of the way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the word of God. Thank you, Lord, for the mothers of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the mothers leading and guiding their families to the truth. And that's with you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Direct that path, Lord. Heal their broken hearts, Lord. Restore whatever is broken in their life, Lord. Take down the strongholds that's keeping them from being the mothers, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help them to, to practice prayer. Help them to get into you, Lord. Help them to let, you, let them know that you are first in their life. Let them know that there is not about them. That it's about your purpose and about your plan for their lives and for their children children, their family lives, and being their help meet for their husband, leading and guiding him, and Lord, you lifting them up every day, Lord, give them strength, Lord, teach them how to love in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up everybody in the whole wide world today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the sick and shed in, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up our pastor, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give him speedy recovery, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Deacon Bob, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give him speedy recovery, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Mary Haynes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, take charge of her body, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch it, Lord. Whatever needs to be healed, Lord, heal it right today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we lift up every broken heart in the name of Jesus. We lift up everything that's gone wrong in our families in the name of Jesus. Make it right, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Straighten it out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Straighten out the mothers, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Straighten out the husbands, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, straighten out our children, Lord, in the name of Jesus, so they can be obedient to the word of God, in the name of Jesus. We lift up the churches, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We lift up our church leaders, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We lift up our president of the United States, in the name of Jesus. We lift up the first responders, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up the health care workers, in the name of Jesus. Touch the nurses, touch the, the doctors, Lord. Teach them and train them where they should go, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We look to everyone in the name of Jesus. We pray for healing over the country. We pray for restorations over our family. Hallelujah. Glory to your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord, for your, your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord, for the message this morning, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all our praises, Lord. And we give you the honor that you deserve each and every day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And let it be so. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. And now, for a special treat for you guys, for you mothers this morning, the word has been has went forth 
and now we're doing especially con <laughs> contribute to mothers. We first I'm have my daughter Shanice Williams to come with and saying a, a saying a poem or uh, uh, just saying something for mothers this morning. The Christian mother who is there, the mother who has raised me, who gave her love and care, the mother who helped me grow in a fine Christian home, the mother who has taught me with God we're not alone, the mother who has laughed with me when all was going well, the mother who has picked me up the times that I failed, the mother I didn't appreciate until I was fully grown, the sacrifices she made for me as time quickly moved along. The mother with such Christian faith that helped me from the start. The mother who I love and cherish and cherish in my heart. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. It was beautiful. Mwah. And now we will have a song and then we will end this program, happy Mother's Day to my daughter. Thank you. Really quick, we just thank God for the word that took place on today. I'm grateful. If you can, just begin to just remain in worship really quick. If we can do this just two minutes, begin to just worship the Lord. If you know God is worthy, if you know God has done anything for you, if you know that God is the beginning, the, the beginner and the, the finisher of your faith, just begin to just worship the Lord right where you are. I surrender all to Give you all of me. I give you all of me. 
Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.